Letitia Hardy is in the running to spread that message to the world. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez takes us to her studio in Colorado Springs. The first time Letitia Hardy put on her dancing shoes, it was almost by accident. These three really sexy Latino boys that came up to me and they were like, do you dance salsa? And I was like, no. And they were like, do you want to? And I was like, yes. And literally they're like, hey, we're going to Literumba like tomorrow. And I'm like, cool, let's do it. I felt like baby and dirty dancing. I was like, this is my life. A newfound confidence she didn't have before. That was, that was just... It was just a few years ago. Just all bad, just all unhealthy. When Letitia was at her lowest point. So I was coming out of, uh, of an, uh, an abusive relationship, like, you know, like physical, verbal, like mental, psycho, like all of it. She lived in Las Vegas, was drinking, smoking, and going out. <laughs> Until she put her foot down and said no more. She worked her butt off, moved to Colorado, left the corporate job, and decided to dance for a living because she says dancing is something she wants everyone to experience. I want everyone to feel like that much self-assurance and esteem and like love for themselves because I was in the worst place and it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Now she's competing to be the face of a salsa shoe company she's respected for years. Legitimize what I'm doing. Although this kind of confidence. Um, this thick curvy with butt and thighs and you know. It's something she doesn't need anyone to reassure. I do that to give to give back to people, just to give them any sort of a sliver of confidence that they can find because it's so hard in the world. In Colorado Springs, Sonia Gutierrez, 9 News.